So on Netflix, they have the Ted Bundy documentary, the Ted Bundy tapes. Uh, yeah. I watched it. I enjoyed it. My only complaint was that it was way too long. I mm. sat down and turned it on. Didn't realize it was going to be multiple episodes. Oh. So every time it would end, I would think like, well, it's fucking over. Oh shit. There's another episode. <laughs> Fuck. Like I just wanted to get the whole story. Um, but I, I enjoyed it. It was interesting. It do you, was, do you think, I mean, I obviously like, was into that murder stuff for a while, but I, I, I didn't watch this on purpose. So like I'm watching too much murder shit. I should steer clear. Do you think I would like this? <laughs> is this something that you think we made? For I me? don't know. Cause I haven't watched murder town or whatever. <laughs> no crime town. is not about, you would, you it's, would like it. It's about, about the Sopranos. I don't know. <laughs> like, I, honestly, I haven't watched any of the murder stuff you've watched. Okay. So I don't know if it's similar or not, but it's a documentary that is a, it's basically a biography of Ted Bundy and it covers his murders and his trial. And there's a lot of information that I didn't know. You know, when I was in high school, I went through a phase where I was like looking up serial killers. Oh, oh we've been John there. Wayne Gacy. Oh, who's Albert Fish, the guy who put yeah. nails in his wiener or whatever. Uh, and I had a passing um, familiarity with Ted Bundy. I know he killed a bunch of sorority girls i know he had a girlfriend who rejected him in college and he he hunted a bunch of girls i believe that reminded him of that one girl um but his story you know i didn't know that he had been arrested and escaped from jail multiple times oh wow i didn't know that and that was interesting and and he would go missing and they'd catch him and sometimes he would continue his crime spree and it was really like there were parts where they were very disturbing he would break into like these sorority homes when the girls were sleeping and he would kill multiple of like oh many God. of them in one night. And he would like, you know, hit him with a piece of wood that he found outside and it was fucked up stuff. Uh, but all throughout the documentary, they keep telling you like, you know, nobody would suspect him because yeah, he was like good looking, right? Well, for the seventies, he was like, yeah, clean cut. he, Worked for the Republican National Convention at one point. He was trying to get into politics. He was going to law school. So he looked very, like, white bread, good old wholesome American boy. And even all throughout his trial, some people refused to believe that somebody who presented themselves in that way could be a killer. He was also very sociable and charming. Yeah. Yeah, the whole time he was on, on trial, he would Super just— Super charismatic, He would make right? jokes, yeah. you know? They'd be like— was it true that you were studying law? And he'd be like, well, you know, a funny thing happened to me on the way to law school. <laughs> I got a two-week free paid vacation at the hotel upstairs, pointing to the jail. And people be like, <laughs> this guy has like, he's got like such high spirits. He's so funny. There's no way he could be a monster like this. And it really just kind of like beat it in of like, you know, you can't trust anybody. Even these guys have such a nice, unassuming personality. And then they're fucking psycho monsters yeah. underneath and there's really something dark and evil and you could never pick it up by just having a passing conversation with them so i'm watching the ted bundy tapes with my girlfriend and it's almost dinner time and we decide we need to go food shopping so we go to the supermarket we're, we're there food shopping i'm pushing and uh i had gone to the gym earlier and i still had on like my black pants and like a black jacket and i'm Going food shopping, and there's this guy standing in the meat section, and whatever. I wouldn't mention this guy ex except for this story. He's standing in the meat section. He's just a tall, white dude, and he has this haircut where, like, everything's kind of, like, pushed forward from the back, you know? Whoa. His, his <laughs> hair kind of looks like this, how I have it <laughs> okay. now. Okay. Brown hair. Mine's black. His was brown. Whatever, I'm pushing my cart, we're shopping. Mm, well, you want to get some turkey? And the guy looks at us, he's like, <laughs> you guys work out? And we're like, what a question. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I got, got our work. Yeah, you look like you work out. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, hamburger meat, what gym do you guys oh, go no. to? Oh, oh no. Uh, oh, no. Oh, Ted. I go, you know, there's a gym. Uh, Close by, and I said the name of the gym. I'm not going to say it here. You know, whatever. Yeah. I'll say a different. Go to the LA Fitness down the street. There you go. Is that a nice gym? Is it big? Yeah, I, it's, uh, it's good enough. Yeah. I heard that there's a gym right down the street. Yeah, that's, that's the one. Uh, and so... Uh, what are we going to get? You guys lived in San Diego your whole life. Oh, my. What? And just like. Uh, it's like nighttime grocery store. Yeah. At this oh. point. Seriously, at this point, 
15 minutes ago, I was watching a Ted Bundy documentary. <laughs> and now this it. guy has asked what gym I go to and if I've lived in San Diego Awful a long time. time. So it's I'm turning my shoulder to this guy. Uh, uh, yeah, like not giving giving the signals of like I'm not cold talk shoulder, to you anymore. literal cold shoulder. I'm, yeah, I'm here to not <laughs> con- converse with you. And the guy just looks at me a little bit, then goes, "I'm John, by the way." Oh, oh, oh no! And so it's like oh. when I'm in this situation, my mindset is non-confrontational. Yeah, yeah. don't piss him off, and also eject the fuck out of here. <laughs> so it was go. like. Sup, John? Good to meet you, man. Tight. <laughs> and, and then he kind of looks at me. He's like, nice talking to you. And then he just walks away, and he walks up to some other woman in the supermarket. <gasps> and I'm just realizing, this fucker's not even shopping. He's this making friends. He's, he's just... standing in the fucking meat section on the prowl. And seriously? I turn, to, turn to my girlfriend, and basically, we're thinking the same thing. Like, Ted Bundy, <laughs> John, John Bundy. Oh my God! Just get the fuck out of here! So we throw all this shit in the cart. We just go up to the to the line to get out of there, and the guy comes like walking up behind us, no. and he gets in line behind no. us. No, and I can't help it. Like I just start laughing. Like the absurdity of all this just is too much for me to bear. And I'm yeah. just thinking like. Of all the nights to have this fucking psychopath try to make friends, <laughs> I'm sure he's just trying to make friends. Yeah. He's probably just new to town. Right. He doesn't know, but like, That's bro, not how you, do you it. picked the wrong night because I've just been watching so much serial killer shit. I'm not trusting fucking yeah. anybody right now. I met you in a meat department. Fuck that. Yeah, and I'm just <laughs> sitting in line, like, just laughing to myself, just like, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and... And and that was it. I we threw our shit. We paid. We ran out of there. There's something so awkward though about an adult trying to make friends with people that way. Yeah, and that shit's kind of happened at cons and stuff before. Yeah, but you kind of expect it at a con, like at a grocery store. I don't know. It was just he had the serial killer profile, <laughs> and it was so uh, not natural, like out of nowhere, uh, just asking me all these questions that I wouldn't even tell, like. You know, a a, per, a new friend. You know, like right. I'm not gonna talk about where I've lived my whole <sighs> life. Fuck well, off. Somebody in the chat works at a grocery store, saying that people come in all the time just to talk to people. That Whoa. sounds so awkward what? to me. Like the grocery to store? just be there to talk to. There's people? probably like, some health self help book that says like if you have trouble communicating, um, practice interactions at the, at the grocery, grocery store. store or laundromat. Like to <laughs> just randomly talk to people. Yeah, like, maybe he. That's something a- I would do in a Mega sixty four skit so that it would be awkward. Yeah. yeah. Like. Uh, no, but you know what I'm saying. I don't like, understand. There's something about adults just yeah. out of the blue trying to make friends with other adults yeah. in a grocery store or like at a mall that's a place food you're doing court and in grocery store yeah. you don't want to fucking buy. the thing I get out is of like yeah. say something fucking funny i don't know make a joke don't ask me my life story <laughs> bro i don't know you <laughs> like give me some give me some softball questions somebody in, ch- uh, somebody in the chat works at a bakery and says they get those all the time i man i, I don't understand you know that is weird to me just going somewhere to not do that thing like uh, I mean, man. I guess I maybe honestly, like, yeah, that's a good point though. Maybe he's like, has a problem. He's like working it out at grocery stores or something like that. It seems crazy to me, but do it with an Uber driver. They're getting paid yeah, to listen and, to your bullshit. And yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, in all honesty, in Uber, yeah. you're there. It, like conversation is a natural a byproduct. You're locked in that's per- or get a haircut. Yeah. True. <laughs> honestly, yeah. I, I, I went snowboarding this last weekend. That's why I wasn't here on the podcast. And I, I got into like several lift line, uh, lift ride, you know, yeah, ski lift yeah. conversations. Yeah, people. you're talking. You're, yeah. you're, you're locked. Stuck. You're locked into that. Might as well talk to yeah, No problem normal. with people trying to talk to exactly. me. But no, like, that's totally but fine. Not, but you can't just go like for, like, the, walk for the questions. Yeah. And you're not even solo. You were there with your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. And I was just trying that's to weird. shop, you know, like yeah. obviously I don't want to talk, you know. Sorry, you need a friend, but go. Yeah. Find somebody else. Find another friend. I uh, would. I. I probably would have been friendlier if I hadn't been watching the Ted Bundy tapes <laughs> all night, right before that happened. No, you okay. did the right thing.